Shorty a body, call it get a body Shorty doing big thing, getting money in high fashion You can't compete with her, if you say so then you capping Call it shorty a body, curly K a body Hey guys, it's Love Curly K and I'm back with a new video If you're new to my channel, my name is Cameron But today we'll finally be getting into my everyday makeup routine This video is long overdue Y'all practically had to beat my head in with a shovel to finally get me to do this video Shout out to everybody that follow my spam because y'all really the reason I'm doing it Before this video even starts, leave a like below Any type of feedback, all feedback is appreciated Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into this video. Um, I already went ahead and put my face serum on my face, but I'm gonna moisturize my face with this CeraVe moisturizing cream. Been using it for a long time. And rub it all in. Y'all catching me laughing because I don't have a single nail on and I need to make an appointment. But I think for the sake of this video, it's actually better I don't have my nails on because not gonna lie, it's kinda easier doing your makeup with no nails on. So after I finish moisturizing my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my primer. Now I don't use this all the time, but for the sake of this video, I think it's best we use a primer. So this is the primer I use. It is the Porefessional Pink um, Primer by Benefit. This one is the Pearl Primer. So they have different ones. I used to use the blue one, but I think that one's more of a matte look. This one is kind of like a glowy look. So I just squeeze. There's not much left even in here. About that much out and I distribute it evenly on my face. I kind of got too much. I usually don't use this much, but. Anyways. I got a pimple over here, so I'll put it on that. Now this primer does kind of give me a more even and better finished looking product as far as like my concealer and blending and everything. So that's why I do recommend this primer. But I also just wanted to point out this video is more of like my everyday more glam tutorial. I'm trying to give you guys the whole nine. If you guys want my more natural everyday routine, I can go ahead and do a separate video with that. But this is like my go-to going out look, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'll show you guys everything I'm using for my eyebrows after I do them, but I'm gonna go ahead Ahead and do them and I'll be right back just finish my eyebrows let me know if you guys want an eyebrow routine but I use this is Anastasia dip brow in dark brown I'm not sure what brand this is but I use this dual ended eyebrow brush for the application and I use and I use this little precision brush I got from Target recently and this Too Faced concealer that I use on my face. So now that my eyebrows are done, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I um, like seal them with. So I use this Gimme Brow Brow Stay Gel. I love this gel. Like it gives it such a like natural look. Like you can really see the brow hairs um, once you're done. But it also just like keeps them in place really well. So these are the brows. Well, now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my face. The first thing I do is conceal. So I use this Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Honey. And I just go in my under eyes first. And then my chin, like that. And then my upper lip. So once I have all of that, use my beauty blender, which is very dirty. Don't say nothing about it. Um, and I just blend my little heart out. I know most people um, wet their beauty blenders, but I don't know, I feel like it makes it really like uneven and kind of like splotchy. I don't know if I'm using too much water or too less, but I prefer to go in with a dry beauty blender. Everybody's different. Once I have all that blended out, I 
go ahead and get my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know if this is the mini or the big one, but all I know is I'm trying not to get it on this black t-shirt. So I get this little bitty old um, beauty blender and I just stamp it a little bit like that and wipe off the excess. And I go in my under eye first. And do the same to the other side. And I go in my chin as well as at the lip. All right, so while all that sits and bakes and I look like Pillsbury Doughman, that's when I kind of start the bronzing and the browning up of the face. For that, I use these two bronzers. The first one is this Wet n Wild bronzer um, in the shade What Shady Beaches in 743B. And the second bronzer I use is this Fenty Beauty um it's reflecting so you can't really see that well but this fenty beauty island ting bronzer so i go back and forth with them as which ones i use where so today i'll be using the island ting on my cheeks area so i go in with this brush i don't know where i got this brush i think it's just by sephora but it's just a regular powder brush and so i just Go like that, and I work it into my cheeks and then up along the side of my face. And once I work that along my cheeks, I also go in around the sides of my face, like more around my hairline and forehead to just bring it all together. So now to contour kind of the sides of my face and my nose, I go ahead and use this Wet n Wild um, bronzer. And I use this brush. I know this one is from By Sephora for sure. It says it on there, but it's kind of like a flat brush. But I just dip it in there and I go. And I do the same to the other side. Now, once I do a little bit of that and a little bit of this, I use this kind of like little bitty eyeshadow brush. Um, this brush is by Smashbox, but I do the same thing and I just get a little on the brush and go down the sides of my nose. So zoom in so you guys can see better. And now, it doesn't do too much, but it like just is just enough. Okay, so by now it's probably been enough of the baking. I kind of forgot about it, honestly. But we're gonna go ahead and wipe the powder off. I use this um, little bitty, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but I always use this just to wipe away all the powder. Now that I've wiped all the powder off of my face, the two mascaras I use are these two mascaras. The top one is the Better Than Sex Mascara, and the bottom is the Kush Milk Mascara. So I go in with the Kush by Milk first. As far as my eyelashes, I just go in and keep doing this over and over again, and I'll show you guys once I finish with the Kush what I do next. Okay, so now that I've kind of gone in with the Kush mascara, this is what my eyelashes look like. But I give that a minute to like dry a little bit, and then I go on with the Better Than Sex on top. I feel like this one really brings out my eyelashes more, but this one like kind of extends the length and brings it all together. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so now that I've gone in with the Better Than Sex mascara, I feel like it just gives it a subtle difference. I don't know if it do or don't, but I feel like it do. I go in with the just the Kush one for the bottom lashes and just bring them out a little bit. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Today I'm filling the bottom lash, so. With this, you just kinda gotta go slower and be extra careful, because if you get it all under your eye, it'll be black and smudgy, and it's so much work to try to get it off once you already put the concealer and baked. It's like, just be kinda careful with the bottom lash line. I honestly don't have the time, patience, to really like go at the bottom lashes today, because I'm really liking how the top ones came out. 
Okay, so now that I've gone in and did the lashes and everything, the last step is really highlight and lips. So this is not the right highlighter that I grabbed. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So next for highlight, I use this Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, you can get it from really any drugstore. I think I got this one from either Rite Aid or Target. But this one is in the shade Golden Flower. And I take my, this is a Fenty um, highlighting brush. It's kind of made for the cheek. Dab at it a little bit, swipe. I go light with the highlight because I don't want... Like, I'm just like a natural highlight kind of person. I don't really like the whole boom, gold shield on the side of my face. Like, don't get me wrong, that looks good on most people, but I don't feel like it's my look. It just depends, you know what I mean? So I go for a more subtle approach with my highlight. And I just sweep at it like that a little bit. This is like what I do specifically for my nose. Since the brush is so like, it'll be all over my nose. So I just take the tip and kind of just go over this part of my nose only like from here to here only i try at least then i kind of just play with it a little bit with my finger so now i go ahead and go in with the eyes so i just dab at it a little bit make a little dot dab at it a little bit make a little dot i want you guys to see this though you guys see the little dots i made I kind of forgot a step, but now I go in with the same bronzer I used um, like on my cheek. I kind of put it on my eyelid a little bit. It like warms it up and it looks pretty to me. All right, now to really spice it up, I take my Morphe palette that I actually just got for Christmas. It's in my Christmas video. I just take any like kind of pretty gold color and I'll show you guys what I do. I'll just call no, I can't read, I'm not gonna try. And I just dab at it and drag it out from the corner of my eye. Now let me tell y'all right now, I don't have a clue my camera shut off. I was saying I don't have a clue what I'm doing like at all when it comes to eyeshadow, but watch this. I just take a little bit and I just, Kind of fan it out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna just try to do the same thing on the other side. So now that we've did that, now we're on to lips. Now, this isn't like what I always do with my lips, but I wanna go ahead and show you guys my little new um, lip kind of secret little tip. It's so cute. Let me show you guys this lip combo. Like, it's so cute. I kind of was just playing around one day. I saw a TikTok and I saw a girl using um, this same product and I was like, ain't no way. That's not even a lip liner. Like, let me just put y'all on real quick. I'm gonna zoom in on my lips a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing for real. So I use this Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso that I originally bought like to contour my face that I actually didn't like. So I use this little brush. It's really not as precise as I like wanted it to be, but it works really good. And I get a little of the concealer and let me show you guys. And I actually wore this in like a picture on my Instagram. Everybody was asking me what the combo was. Uh, yeah, this is that. All right. All right, so I line my lips with that. I go in with this clear Fenty, um, I wish it would focus. I go in with this clear um, hint hint um, why do I keep saying, um, um, and I kind of just, and it gets it all mixed kind of nice, but then let me show you guys how I do this, how I bring it all together. Now don't do this with one you want to stay clear because it'll turn like brown on the brush. And once I do that, now I go in with the brown version of that. This is a separate lip gloss she actually just came out with. It's in Cocoa Drizzle and this is brown. And I just kind of go in the center with that. And just a little bit so that the bottom stays pink. I don't have to do this, but I actually kind of like it because it gives it a little sparkle. But I go in with this Fenty um, lip gloss, but it's in the color Hot Chocolate. 
few swipes of that give it a little sparkle and those those are the lips okay so we're literally done like we're done with the tutorial we're done with everything this is the final everyday more glam look um i need to make sure i clean up so this is the face this is the light beat or whatever yeah i really like how it looks so so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want the more natural looking everyday makeup routine let me know this, this is actually my first like sh technically straight out makeup routine video so let me know how you guys liked it or think I did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me video suggestions in the comments below. Turn on the bell so you can be notified whenever I post. Follow all my social medias in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hello guys. Hey. Bye bye.